Quick Takes with Ed Masterson. What is the uh, the final result by having a, a separate power supply from the unit? How does that translate to improved musical sound quality? Ultimately, it's probably just the same goal of uh, addressing noise. You know, it's, you know, I, you know, improving the design such that the signal is less contaminated with noise, where, where from whatever sources. Um, the uh, you know the goal of any any of the designers, you know, is less noise, and with uh, you know, keeping the integrity of the audio signal from whatever the source is, we're referring to a preamp here, um, you know, keeping the integrity of that signal from its input to its output. Um, and people like to look at it that way. Unfortunately, it doesn't really quite work that way because what's really happening is it becomes part of the circuit. It's not just its own thing, okay? The minute you connect two things electrically, it's not like you have two different things connected. It's one thing now. When you connect, it becomes one. Um, it uh, you could then analyze the circuit. Now, most current products are designed to work more like individual pieces. They put you know, what we'll call buffers on the in, input and output, so it doesn't look much different than that to any, no matter what you hook up. Some people, uh, you know, again, we're back to that. We're talking about integrated amplifiers. You know, an integrated amplifier, you don't have to worry about someone trying to connect between the amp and the preamp because you're in, it's all internal in the box. You know, so from that standpoint, you get to skip some buffering requirements, you know, that you're doing to protect against hooking up to something that has a different kind of a, uh, electrical characteristic that would be inappropriate in the, that connection. Um, but uh, the goal being less noise and yet enough power, and very interesting is, you know, a preamplifier, um, you know, put between a current, let's say DAC, a lot of DACs now have volume controls in them, whether it be a digital volume control uh, or an analog volume control. And uh, when you hook that up directly to an amplifier, it works fine. You know, and if you have, you know, you're not going to run that through a separate piece of electronics that could do just, you know, could damage to the signal comparatively. Um, at some point, what I've found is that if you have a good enough preamp, it actually improves the sound. You'd think going through another piece of electronics couldn't do anything but hurt it, okay? Because but that's not true because what's happening is the the signal is able to get to the amplifier and to the speaker ultimately more effectively because of the way that preamplifier affects the overall circuit. Right? So uh, and the, 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 the audible experience I have is, you know, typically it's, it's what I'll call drive. It's like the, the amount of sort of force you feel for the music, the physical energy in it um, can be dramatically better with a good preamp than running a, a very good DAC with a very good output uh, volume control of some type. As good as that is, with a really good preamp, you, you'll end up with a sound that you like better, I think. And so, you know, in, in those designs with the separating the chassis, you know, lower noise, you know, typically when they do that, you end up with bigger power supplies and all the other stuff to, that may as well go with it since you're paying for the separate chassis, you know. Um, some people will go so far as to make a separate chassis for in a preamp for left channel and right channel. So you actually would have two of those, one for the right, one for the left, and then they each have separate power supplies. So you actually, in effect, have four boxes to do two channels just as a preamp. And uh, we've seen that a few times. You know, Dan did that actually back at Krell uh, with the Evolution series, I think. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. Um, I was excited because we could do 5.1 all mono preamplifiers. So that was my multi-channel preamp, which would be the best preamp you could ask for, pretty much. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.